Hello students, in this video, let me discuss with you about transferring CSV data into data frame. A file with the CSV file extension is a comma separated values file. A CSV file is a text file containing data in table form. A CSV is created using spreadsheet software like OpenOffice Cal, Kingsoft Spreadsheets or Microsoft Excel. In this video, I will show on how to transfer CSV file using Excel and Spider. So before writing some codes in Pandas, now let us try to open Microsoft Excel first and we will create a csv file so first of all we will open microsoft office and select microsoft excel after that it will open a new spreadsheet so we will do our work here in the spreadsheet as you can see this spreadsheet are in the form of tables that means in the form of rows and columns the alphabets a b c and so on these indicates the column names whereas the numbers one two three and so on these indicates the rows and here you can see this box which is highlighted in black each box is known as cell so we will be typing in each of these cells for example, let us try to store students' records. And in column A, which is the first column, let us store the roll number of students. And then in column B, here we have the names of the students. These are the column names. So I'm giving these names for column names for our example. And after that, we will fill the records for these columns. Next here, in column C, we have marks. And in column D are the results. So here for roll number, let me just type any number. Suppose 1, 2, 3 serially for a number of students. So let me just drag here and... All these roll numbers you can see here I did not type I just drag and it is auto filling the roll numbers next I'm just typing the name so you can give any name as you wish so these are just few examples for the students name I am just assuming these names dear students since you already learned on how to create data frames and series in pandas you can try to create these records in pandas data frame or series here I am creating using Excel and it is a CSV file I will transfer this file into a data frame so you observe this how I am doing first I am creating a Excel sheet and then I will save this sheet in the format of CSV after that, I will read this file using Python Pandas. All CSV files are plain text files and it can contain numbers and letters only and structure the data contained within them in a tabular or table form. Files of this format are generally used to exchange data, usually when there's a large amount between different applications. So here in our example, we are assuming that these are the data for storing the students' records and it is a large amount of data. And you can imagine if you write this in Python, how long will this program be in the form of data frame or series but now in excel you simply type like this so after that you can save this worksheet and then you can read it from data frame 
that means we will work with this csv files we are uh, providing input through this csv file and then we will transfer the data between the data frames next column here is for the results so for the results i can give some students as pass some as fail like that so there are two options for this example some students as results as pass and others as fail now that our students record is ready we shall save it so you can click on file save or you can press ctrl and s to open the save as windows as shown here you can give the file name as per your requirements here i am giving the file name as students record but before that let me create the folder name csv12 so observe this it is in e drive the name of the drive is e and the name of the folder is csv12 and the file name is students records so as you can see here the file name is students record and then save as type so here i am choosing csv that is comma delimited then press save or ok and then your work is being saved now it is time for us to move ahead with our python program so here i am opening a new file using spider and in this file i'll write a few lines of codes whereby we can read that excel sheet or that csv file that we already created just now here let us try to load that csv file that we created remember the name of the file is students records and the directory is e drive and folder name class or csv12 so you have to give or to specify a correct part so we can load this file into pandas data frame and while loading csv files the file part should be correct that means we should check it properly my dear students it is not a difficult task to load csv files to as data frames so here first we just need to import pandas and also we need to import numpy so here after importing pandas and numpy we will use the read csv method which automatically detects and assign the first row of the csv file as the pandas data frame header here in our example our data frame name is students records and then we will use the read csv method to read those records that you already created in the form of csv so we will not write again the names of the students roll numbers marks and results here in data frame but we can just call those records using the read csv function so now let us try to read the csv file so here pd dot read csv now here pd is the name here that we use pd we are importing pandas as pd you can use any name here in my example i am using it as pd but for read csv you have to follow this way of writing check that it is an underscore not a dash so read csv and you should specify the part correctly here inside the round brackets we need to specify the part that we saved our csv file remember we saved our csv file name students records in e drive so here let me browse for e drive after that we go to the folder name and then the file name here you can see our file name is students records moving ahead with our program 
here we need to specify the part so the part here is e drive csv12 which is the name of the folder please check the file part that it should be correct because if you make mistake here your program it will not produce a correct output and you will not get an output because the file part might not exist so make sure that the file part you are providing is correct here it is just an example whereby i save in e drive csv12 folder and the csv file name is students records but you can use it or you can use any name as per the requirements so here students records is the name of our data frame now i am saving this program and after that we will check the output as of now we are not using numpy so let us commence this line so we will stop using this line here so here i'll just put a hash for comments with these few lines of codes our data frame is ready now let us have a look at the output let me just reduce this screen size a little bit so that you can see the output also so here we are having the console for the output so now let me run this program for you so uh, keep in mind that we are transferring the records from csv to data frame as you can see here we have the output whereby we got this output using read csv we did not type these roll numbers the student's name the marks the results in the form of data frame as you can see here there are only three lines of codes very few line of codes where are whereas the output is long so here the output we are getting from the csv file this is how we import the csv file from pandas and to print it in the form of data frame so here let me just write the comments this is what we read all the columns of the csv file and if you don't want to display all these columns you can select it so you can select only few columns that you want to display in the form of data frame so in our csv file we have got four columns roll number name marks and results but if we want to display only few of those columns we can do that using use calls so here let me show to you on how to do it a csv file may contain many columns hundreds of columns and if you want or you may need only few columns then you can specify the columns to read into a data frame the read csv function supports the use calls option to read only specific columns from a csv file for example let us read only one column from our csv file and that column is name so here using use calls we have to specify the name of the column so here the name of the column is name so this is just one column that i want to display in the form of data frame so now let us print this data frame whereby only one column will be displayed that is name so here let us print the data frame name students records f and let me run this program so here we have the output so as you can see here in the original data frame that means in the first data frame that we created whereby all the columns of the file are being displayed and here this is the second data frame that we created whereby only one column that is the column name is being displayed so here we use the use calls option of 
this read csv in order to specify in order to display only the specific column from a csv file i hope that is clear now let us try to learn how to read csv file without header if the csv file does not contain any header information we can specify that there is no header by specifying header option to be none in our csv file we have the column names or the header with roll number name marks and result suppose we don't want to display in the form of header so we can use the header option for reading csv file without header and we have to specify it to none so here i am specifying header to none and we will print this csv file in the form of a data frame so here we have students record h which will display the file without header so here in the output you can see the headers are being converted into numbers such as 0 1 2 and 3 note that if you try to read a csv file with header information but with header is equal to none option then our data frame will contain the header information as the first row as shown here you can see here the first row with index 0 contains the name of the headers from the original csv file here you can see in our first data frame index 0 onwards are the names of the students and their records but after removing the header after specifying header is equal to none option the first row that means index number zero contains the roll number name marks and results we can also read the csv file and load the data into a data frame without numeric row index so if you don't want the indexes to appear in the data frame but if you want only the columns and the records then you can remove it by using index called is equal to zero in data frame the default index starts from zero and here in our example also the index starts from zero and we have got some records so if we don't want to uh, display our data frame with row index then we can do that by specifying the index column is equal to zero so let me show here in line number 15 so here after specifying the file part we can now specify the index call is equal to zero and then we will print that data frame as simple as that with only this line you can now get the data frame without index so now let me run this program for you and let us check the output here we have the output of our program as you can see here the data frame the index it starts from 0 till 23 this was the previous data frame but after reading csv file without index the data frame will be different now if you look here down here the index starts from rule number itself so these are the columns whereby we want to display the row index here has been removed because we are reading the csv file without index what if we want to change the name of the columns suppose here for rule number name 
marks and results we don't want to appear but we want to change into a new column name so we can do that by reading the csv file with new column names using skip rows option so if you want to rename or name the column names of the csv file you can easily specify the names with arguments name while reading the csv file to rename the column you must skip the existing header and use skip rows options for example we would like to rename the columns of our csv file into abc so here let me name for the new columns so after specifying the file path and we can use the skip rows equal to one so this will skip the first row that means the existing header so after that you can specify the names that you want for the new columns so here let me specify it as student's name the index also will not be counted here so it will just count from the rows that you want to rename so now let us try to display this new data frame which is students record here it means that the first column name will be s the second column name will be t the third column name is u and so on but in our example here we have only three columns so we are not counting for the index roll number but we have only three columns the names marks and results so here let me change here i will write the new column name as small letters a b and c now let me run this program so here we have the output of the program as you can see here after reading the csv file with new column names here we have the columns a b and c we specify the name for the new columns as small letters a for name b for roll num for marks and c for results now let me modify these column names let me give to capital a b and c and let us check the output once again after running the program here we have the column names capital a b and c so our students record now have got new column names my dear students i hope that is clear and before we conclude you can recall that in this video we have learned about how to create csv file and transfer it into a data frame we have learned different possible ways for reading or loading csv file the first one is with all the columns the next with specific column and next after that without header we also learned on how to read csv file without index as well as with new column names so as you can see here we have learned many things but the lines of code are, are very less but if you compare with the output the output is very long so this is very helpful in case you are doing your project so this means that it is a little easy for you if you first create a csv file in excel and then transfer or load that csv file as data frame so keep in mind that first we did created a csv file using excel say if your project have got a huge number of records for example here i am adding few more roll numbers names and all these records so here you can see that the data is increasing so it is easy for you to handle whereby you can make changes only in the csv file and then you just 
load that csv file into data frame as you can see here we have got 59 students so it is a little bit faster for you to do it in csv rather than in while creating a dictionary and convert it into data frame or first a list into a data frame so here after running this program you can see here that the output changes accordingly now we have a very long list of students so the students records here also changes as per the requirements that you make changes in your csv file so my dear students i'll stop here for this topic and we shall meet again in the next video